I'm going to talk about, just for a couple minutes, the immense power that you can have, how to get that power so that you can actually own your life instead of leaving it in the hands of something that you don't control. And the big example, there, there's many examples, but the big one is, is this. Most people believe they are not doing well in, you know, financially and in life in general because of the economy. If it truly is the economy's fault why you're not doing well, then seriously, how screwed are you? The economy is outside of yourself. You cannot control that. If you're really putting the blame, the responsibility, and the reason you're not doing so well on the shoulders of the economy, then you are never, ever going to do well unless the economy does well. But even then, you're not going to do better than the economy because it's, it's the economy that you've invested yourself in, right? And then when the economy goes into another recession, which it's always going to, that's the business cycle. After every expansion follows recession, after every recession follows expansion, and it goes back and forth. But if that truly is the reason for your doing, uh, however you're doing, then you are screwed and that is never going to change unless you change your belief system. Your daily actions are fueled by whatever your belief system is. That's absolutely true. It's always been true and it always will be true. So if you want to take power and truly own your life, which I totally recommend you should, then take the blame off of the economy, take the blame off of politics, take the blame off of your environment, take the blame off of everything outside of yourself that you do not have control over, and maybe put it on things that you do have control over. Things that you have control over, whatever they are. If that's the reason why you're not doing well, then that's extremely empowering because you can change those things because you have control over those things, those variables. So now you've got things in place that will enable you to own your life, to have a better life, to have more of the things that you want and less of the things that you don't want. But I'm telling you, this is true as it ever was. If you continue to put the blame in the economy, the economy is truly the reason why you're not doing well, you will never, ever do as well as you want to do. There is no way around this. You've got to change your belief system. So I hope you do that. I hope this video makes sense. I mean, it's very pragmatic stuff here that I'm talking about. It's not some hocus pocus, feel good kind of stuff and things are magically going to turn around. No. The whole purpose for putting blame on yourself for things not going the way that they do is not to make you feel scorn. It's to give you power. It's, it's so that you can finally position yourself in a way that's powerful so that you have the power to change your life and design the life of your dreams, however you define that. There is no other way. I don't care what anybody else tells you. If somebody tells you something differently, then they are in disagreement with how the universe is set up. And this isn't something that I'm making up or that I'm shooting from the hip on. This is just the way that the universe is set up, which you and I are guests of. So you've got to learn to cooperate with the way that the universe is set up, cooperate with the positive things that are going on, and you can make a difference. You've got to start working on things, putting your focus on things that you do have control over. You don't really control what happens to you. You can't control the economy and politics and whatever else is going on out there, but you are in complete control of how you respond whatever happens to you and that's how you get power to change your life and design the life of your dreams so quit blaming the economy yes the economy is terrible right now maybe politics are terrible who knows things that happen to you some of those things are really bad and you don't have control over them so it makes no sense to put power into those things to dictate how your life is going to turn out that is absolutely a mess instead Focus on how you respond whatever happens to you, whether it's good or a bad thing that happens to you. You're in control of your response, and the sooner that you realize that, and the sooner that you truly invest yourself in how you respond to whatever happens to you, and you put the power where it belongs, you can design the life of your dreams. I'm not kidding. Like with all my other videos, I truly, truly hope that helps you out.